What's up, Pug Life? So for this week's episode, we want to do something a little bit different. The most asked questions I get about Doug include, what does he eat every day? And does he actually eat pizza as his meals? And the answer to the second question is no, he does not only eat pizza, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of what Doug actually does eat to stay so healthy and fit and just an amazing health for, for being a six-year-old little pug. Before we get started, I do have to say, I am not a veterinarian. I'm not telling you this is what you should do for your dog or your pug or whatever it may be. Doug, it has a nutritionist. Whole procedure changes with the seasons and at the end of the day, please go ask your veterinarian to see what you should and shouldn't be doing for your dog. So this is not a suggestion. This is not, you know, I'm saying you should do this, you shouldn't do this. Just. This is what Doug does. This is, you know, what works for us, but enjoy. Doug eats Answers Pet Food raw beef patties. So Doug does really, really well on beef, but with turkey and chicken and salmon, he actually gets bad rashes and is really affected by grass and seasonal allergies and stuff. So we had them on beef. They come in raw beef patties. We just de-thaw them in the fridge and we have them in a Pyrex. And it's super easy once, you know, they're de-thawed to give them to Doug. And my wonderful fiance and Doug's dad, Rob, has the job of chopping up these kale and asparagus veggies and steaming them. That is the main part of what he eats. So, all right, Rob, I hope you're ready to... Let's go. in there to be steamed. And this is so easy because I do it all at once. I literally just pop it in there, add water. And these were pre-washed, by the way. Wash your veggies, people. Even for your dogs. Follow me. Pop it on there. Voila. Let that steam. One of Doug's favorite summertime snacks is watermelon. Obviously, with how much we travel with Doug, there's no way to do this whole production out of a hotel room. So this is a really good raw dog food that Doug loves. Um, it's by True Dog. There's a pug on it. And Doug just does really, really well with raw food. So many of his problems went away when we started feeding him raw. Um, and that's why we're sticking with it. But Doug is very impatient right now because his food is getting cooked and you need to calm it down. All right, so now on to the supplements we give Doug. Again, please talk to your veterinarian before starting anything. I'm just simply telling you guys what works for Doug and what keeps him really happy and healthy, but I'm not saying stop what you're doing and go buy these things, but it works for Doug. So to start, we use a digestive enzyme. It's by Dr. Good Pet. We get it on Amazon, and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of it on his food, and it basically just helps digest all of the food really well so that he can absorb all of the nutrients and get everything that he needs. Second, we've got this multivitamin tablet so he gets all the, the vitamins and minerals he needs. And most importantly, we have a great probiotic. It's um, pre and probiotic by Adored Beast, so Doug can have a healthy gut flora and get all of his healthy gut bacteria in good shape. What do you think about that, Doug? We don't over steam it, we steam it for like eight minutes and it actually looks like it's done. All right, now obviously we let all of this cool. I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for a few seconds. Doug is so excited. Not happy. Doug knows what's coming. All right, so. Half of the patty, 
hemp oil, organic hemp oil. I get this at Whole Foods. This helps a lot with this shiny, silky coat. Probiotics, enzymes, and one multivitamin. And now we stir it up. It seems like this takes a really long time, but that's just because we kind of prepped it today. But once everything is in the fridge and ready, this takes like two minutes to give him it back. Look at that. I don't think he likes it very much. He gets it all over his face. And the wall. And the wall. His ears. Oh yeah. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that was informative and insightful and I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week.